Hey everybody, this is Cassandra. Welcome back to Cassandra's Garden. Love you. Okay, so this is probably going to be the most simplest recipe that I'm ever going to share with you. I have so many people that ask me, how do you get your eggs to taste so good? My grandchildren absolutely love my scrambled eggs, and this morning for breakfast, I have already made them. Hey, you know what? Let me show you. You're going to love this. So for breakfast this morning, my grandkids wanted blueberry pancakes and scrambled eggs. And as you can see, I have made the blueberry pancakes. Well, I've got them in the oven on the lowest temperature, but that plate was still hot, so that's why I had to grab a uh, oven mitt. So they love hash browns and blueberry pancakes and eggs and my granddaughter made a really good point and she said grandma not many people can make eggs like you so i thought you know what i'm going to sh share my secret with you guys and gals it's so simple it's so good you're going to love it now i have three grandchildren and they all want two eggs each so that's of course three times two is six and that fits perfectly in my recipe that I have developed over the years for a perfect scrambled egg. <clears throat> and I also use the same recipe when I make omelets as well. So I'm going to crack six eggs. One, two, three, four, and two more. I'm going to save my eggshells for compost. And just rinse off my hands a little bit. Now, for every six eggs, and as you can see, there are no shells. Okay. For every six eggs, this is my recipe. You can cut this recipe in half. You can double it. You can triple it. So, I'll explain that in just a moment. For every six eggs, you're going to put six tablespoons of milk. For every one egg, each egg gets two tablespoons of milk. So, two, four, six, eight, oh, well, I miscounted. So, for, for every one egg, let me rephrase that. I'm better at math than this, I promise. For every one egg, I put two tablespoons of milk. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 tablespoons of milk is going to go into my eggs. So, just remember, for every one egg, you're going to put 2 tablespoons of milk. You can use whole milk. You can use almond milk. You can use 2% milk. You can use half and half. And I have, all, I have also used heavy whipping cream, and they turned out amazing. This is just good old whole milk. So for every egg, they're going to get two tablespoons of milk. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So we're going to measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, making a mess. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just about had that measured out perfectly. Isn't that awesome? I mean, yeah, I spilt a little right here, but you know what? That's totally cool. Just a little bit was... There is literally just like a drop in there. I almost had that measured perfectly. Okay, for every six eggs, I only put a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon, let me get the rest of that, of, and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Here's the salt, pepper. I'm just all over the place this morning, aren't I? 
So for every six eggs, I only put a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. So if you do 12 eggs, you're going to put one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper. If you decide you only want to make three eggs, then you're going to put two, four, six tablespoons of milk. And for three eggs, I, you should only put one quarter of a teaspoon of salt, one quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. This is for cooking purposes. Now, if whoever you're cooking for or for yourself, if you want to add more pepper and salt after they're cooked, that is entirely up to the individual and their taste preference. And then all I do is grab my whisk. Sorry, that was my dishwasher. And just whisk it up. And for scrambling eggs, I use about three to four tablespoons of butter to scramble my eggs in. No more than four tablespoons because it'll be too much if you do. And I use real butter. I do not use margarine or fake butter or anything like that. I use real butter because it's simply just made out of cream. And this is my secret for the fluffiest and the most delicious eggs you will ever taste in your life. I'm going to come back in a part two. And I want to show you the eggs. And I'll show you their, their breakfast plates. But I hope that this recipe helps. So just remember, for every six eggs, you use a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of pepper. For every one egg, you're going to use two tablespoons of milk. And then you whisk them, whisk all the ingredients together, and you just put it in a pan on top of the stove on medium heat, and you scramble them. I will be back for part two for the best, fluffiest scrambled eggs ever.